Thanks for watching our next video. Last time we show you how we work with the keys uh, and we show you rebushing the keys and uh, recover the keys with the new plastic tops. Today we want to show you two tools that you need for extracting back checks, that's the piece uh, they wear out, and to uh, take off the back felt uh, on the key. Uh, we want to show you some tool that you can use for extracting back checks. Uh, that's a very simple uh, design. It's a block, wood block, and aluminum angle with the cut through. Uh, you place it on the table, clamp it, clamp this, clamp it to the table, and it's ready. Uh, now you use two types of the cutters. Uh, the angled one, it's a 45 degree, that's the best one. Or you can use, like the cutters, probably it's like 15 degrees. This uh, cutters gives you a little bit more time to do it, but you can see how it, you do it. You place your key under this angle and just take it out like that. See? Just place it here one more time, like this. Uh, with this uh, cutters, you probably have to do it three times, but if you have the 45 degrees, you can do it at one time, like that, right? And as you see, it's pretty fast, efficient, still 88 pieces, but you can do it faster. Of course, if you have to uh, do it like, uh, let's say, hundreds, thousands of times, we probably can make it automatic or pneumatic or uh, electrical. Uh, but in our case, it's not necessary. As you see, you can do it in a matter of like, maybe five, six minutes. It takes much longer to place the keys on the table than actually extracting it, you see, like that. Yeah, this is very helpful tool. And uh, somebody, you see, well, that's a good example when you somebody already glued it with epoxy, but we still extract it. Takes a little bit uh, more force. But anyway, a very simple tool. If you make one, it's probably just like not a big deal. It's just block and the angle. Uh, you really, really appreciate it. And now we want to show you another tool. This tool, of course, requires some sliding table and uh, table saw uh, because actually extract this felt is very complicated. It's very hard to suck it with any liquid or like wall remover paper or just alcohol or anything or steam it is complicated. The best way to cut it, that's why you need a special tool. And as you see it, you probably make one for you too. Let's uh, show you how uh, another tool works. And here's our uh, tool, especially for cutting uh, key and felt. Uh, as I told you before, it's very hard to soak. It is a very dense felt. That's why um, I came to decision just to cut it. And that's why I designed this tool. It works together with the table saw. As you see, it's, uh, it's aluminum bars here on the base and uh, several clamps for different purposes. One of this clamp holding the key, like this and this in a vertical position, right? And you hold it with your hand. It's just, and then you slide it through the saw. Uh, in order to adjust it in the right position, uh, we use just sliding uh, here, table adjustable, and uh, this rail that uh, position it in the angle. That's basically it. And uh, of course, before you cut it, you measure the height of your blade, just not to overcut and uh, make it right. And now I want to show you how to do it. We place the key, of course, the circle, and we slide it through the top, like that. And as you see, it's cut it right by the glue. Another one. This again. And you can 
As you see, we, we did it already, and uh, it just needs a little bit maybe cut with a knife, but the most work is done here. And uh, as you see, it's very efficient and accurate. Uh, to build this tool, uh, you can just, you got already image uh, of this tool. Uh, you need uh, certain skills to do it. Uh, by getting this aluminum pieces and uh, the plastic bar. Um, uh, this very helpful. I highly recommend you to do uh, as much as possible tools that minimize the uh, uh, labor of um, restoration, because as you know already, that is time consuming thing. Uh, thanks for watching, and, and I hope it's helped you in the future restoration. And see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.